Welcome to Talk About Scary, a show where we do just that. Talk about scary stuff. I'm Adam, and with me as sometimes is... Shalina. Ah, in case you haven't been watching or you're under a rock and you haven't been watching our, our YouTube channel, which you should be, Shalina is one of our new hosts, and she'll be participating in all sorts of spooky stuff in the future, along with me and Clay. So we hope this adds a little bit of a variety to the mix for you guys, a little bit of spice, a little bit of a little bit of hot sauce to our mayonnaise. You know, um, hope you liked it a lot. Um, Shalina has some great stuff to go over today, but before we do that, a little bit of housekeeping. Ready for this? We have on our YouTube page, if you haven't seen yet, the last five days three. The Freak Building is out right now. Go watch that if you can. If you haven't noticed, it's going to be down the list a little bit now, but it's out today uh, in, uh, in the past because you're watching this in the future. Um, we also have done a, uh, we've done a couple great uh, ghost hunting adventures, including one that's just come out on Amazon and on Roku TV, um, and that is the, um, oh gosh, on Pardon me. the San Carlos. That's right. It's the Ooh. ghostly secrets. Ghostly secrets. Of the San Carlos Hotel. <laughs> Them ghosts got secrets. And they do have secrets. It was actually a fantastic um, ghost hunting experience that Clay and I went on. We didn't know exactly what we had until we saw the footage at the end. But some pretty interesting things did happen. If you haven't yet seen it, I'm generally a skeptic. Some great stuff happened. It was just Clay and I nobody else in the hotel. So the stuff that you see is an honest assessment of what was happening and I think you'll really enjoy it so give that a shot give it a watch and uh let's do it take it away Shalina <laughs> so today uh we are going to bring some folklore um some Spanish and Mexican folklore um so I will go ahead and apologize now for anything that I pronounce incorrectly uh again I welcome a gentle reminder uh of how this can be pronounced correctly I do uh search the internets to see how you should pronounce it doesn't mean it's going to come out of my mouth that way it's not going to so, come out of her mouth that way it's not going to happen we'll see how it goes I'm going to Give it my best uh, college try. You dive so. right in. I'm going to fix this camera while you're diving in. Keep going. Oh, okay. Okay, I've messed up on the cameras. I do it all the time. That is okay. So um, I actually had this particular story recommended to me um, from a friend. Uh, so thank you so much. And if there's actually anything that anyone would be interested in hearing about, feel free to leave your recommendations, suggestions in the comments, uh, and we would be happy to look those over. So um, while Adam gets a little bit more prepared on that side. It's, just, it's a, a little bit up, a little bit down. It's, it's every, <laughs> I'm usually really good at this. Today I'm just not. Oh, that's nice. Okay, we got that's it. That's perfect. Good. And you'll see that shot a little bit later in this episode, I'm sure. You'll see how it was much better than earlier. Uh -huh. Thank goodness. Mm. All right. So today we have La Llorena. La Llorena. Gentle reminder, okay. <laughs> La Llorena is Spanish for the weeping woman. It's a ghost story widely shared throughout Latin America and especially Mexico. The details of La Llorena's origins vary from storyteller to storyteller, but the ending is similar between all. One modern story shares that La Llorena's mortal name was Maria. She married a rich man and grew to love him, and they had two children together. What are you going to do about a problem like Maria. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's a good shout. Thanks. As their marriage went on, Maria's husband came home less and less. And we did, when he did come home, his attention was more to the children than sharing time with her. One day, Maria discovers her husband and his mistress. Oh, snap. Maria is so enraged, she decides to hurt her husband in the deepest way possible. She drowns their children. Damn. She immediately regrets the action, crying out, Mis hijos! Or, my children in Spanish. And then she drowns herself. Mis hijos. Mis hijos. <laughs> this is a story. I'm going to cut you off. Right. This is a story that I've heard a million times. And a million, oh, not a million. I've, I've heard it like 10 times in like four different cultures. Um, 
it, it spans everywhere. Some people say it happened in Puerto Rico. Some people say it happened in uh, in Santo Domingo, which uh, to all of our American people, just call it DR now, which is kind of weird. Uh, it's the Dominican Republic, but most Spanish people, I think, still call it Santo Domingo. Um, Mexico, a lot of places in Mexico uh, talk about it. I think it's a common theme. Scary, it might be true, but it's kind of like the Chupacabra, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it could be true, but why is it, why don't I see him up here? Why don't I see him in America? I mean, you know, maybe we he, all have a different cultural start to our background. Maybe the Chupacabra doesn't speak English, so he doesn't come up here. See, maybe. He, maybe he prefers the climate of where he's at. Perhaps. And I'm sorry to call him a he. The Chupacabra, it. 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 They. Maybe they. They. Pronouns. Yes. They, them. Prefer, prefer I'm learning. Prefer the climate in a more tropical area. You can continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. You're fine. Okay. I'm just going to share another tale that involves a native woman. Similarly, she falls in love with a Spanish gentleman during Spain's colonization of present day Mexico. <laughs> While they hid their relationship from their respective societies, they did have three children. Damn. The woman was in love and wanted to be the gentleman's wife. However, he continued to elude the questions of marriage, of course. Later, the native woman learned the Spanish gentleman had married a woman from high society, and the native woman was crushed by his betrayal. She took her children to a river and drowned them, and in this story, again, she regrets murdering her children and drowns herself. So, most scholars agree that the legend of La Llorena actually derives from the Aztec goddess of motherhood and fertility, but also, she's an omen of war, Sia Quatl, the serpent woman. She ruled over the Sia Wateteo, or spirits of women who died in childbirth, and these women were actually considered heroes and highly revered in Aztec culture. Pretty so, awesome. Yeah, I mean, you know, women don't get a lot of high places in some of, uh, you know, the mid to modern culture, but definitely respected in previous cultures um, or history. They were the only women to achieve the afterlife like male warriors. However, <laughs> their fate was to torment humanity and haunt crossroads on ceremonial days of ill fortune seeking victims children to steal, men to seduce, or ones to drive insane. Siaquatl was said to have warned the natives of the upcoming conquest of Mexico, sobbing, oh my children, we are going to lose everything. Where can I take you to hide? So that is the earliest signs of La Llorona. So La Llorona continues to wander the earth in search of her children. She might be seen wearing her funeral gown, floating over bodies of water, or seen roaming the streets in a white petticoat and white reboso or shawl-like garment to cover her head. She may appear on a highway looking for a ride. If you pass her up, she's likely to join you in the car anyway. And for any children that may have the misfortune to cross her path, she attempts to lure them away to claim them as her own for the rest of eternity. Her attempts to reconcile her past also involves seducing men and murdering them to exact revenge on her cheating lover. Some say she kills indiscriminately, men, women, and children. The closer she is, the farther away her wails sound. Now that's something that's different that you don't generally hear mm. in a lot of the folklore. Everything else, very similar yeah. to things we've heard mm -hmm. in different cultures, not just Hispanic, Latino, or Spanish cultures, but in European cultures as well. That you don't hear. That's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Yeah. Like a siren thing going on mm -hmm. there. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think that was the spookiest part. So uh, no matter what you believe or what you hear about La Llorona, if you hear her, we recommend you run away. <laughs> get the hell out of there. <laughs> Don't stay. Get There's out. No reason son. to stay. Get out. <clears throat> <clears throat> I got to say, you got to say, um, again, how many times have you heard something like this from different cultures? They made movies about it now. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not called uh, La Llorona. It's, it's, it's a different... There's, there's a bunch of different uh, movies that are similar to that. Uh, I've heard about this in European cultures. I think mm -hmm. uh, if you're Irish and you're from Ireland and you have a similar story, God, I think I heard a similar story. 
I wonder what the tie-in of all this is. If we think about it, there's a, what's, the, what's, what's the moral of the story? So, not necessarily a moral, but I was in my research, I didn't delve as much into it with this particular telling of the information, but there were a lot of conversations about how European culture was brought over through the colonization, um, and how the cultures of the Aztecs and the Spanish then kind of merged and come through to the story. Um, it was really fascinating, a lot of people have some write-ups about that and um, I wish I could have gone a little bit further into that um, just because I find it interesting. But, you know, I think the meat of the story is about La Llorena being um, a figure to frighten children, keep people in line, just remind you, spook you. I don't have to cheat on your wife or your spouse and you better marry that girl, put a ring on it. Just because you get the milk for free doesn't mean you shouldn't buy the cow. I wish say that. That's, that. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I don't mean. You know what I mean. I, I mean, mean like I that. don't know what you mean, but yeah. you know what you mean. Mm -mm. Nope. I don't know what I mean either. Right. You know what I, I'm, I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that, uh, you know, you should be an honorable man or you might lose your children. Maybe that's a good one. Might lose your blood. Might lose your life, your bloodline. I don't know. It's a good story, though. It's, good. it's a great story. I love it. Yeah, I like it. I wish... If, if, if you guys have seen any movies about this, uh, and I mean not with the same name, obviously, please share them in the comments. Let us know. If you have something similar in your culture, you want to talk about it, let us know. Um, that's what we're here to do. I think this is really interesting stuff. Thank you. I love... I, I had a hiccup, sorry. I love hearing these little tidbits. Um, originally, I went to school for anthropology. Cultural anthropology is a huge part of it. And a lot of these things, um, they just kind of come through in the stories that we've had to learn. And and they seem to be retold in different ways over the course of time. And it's just very fascinating. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for sharing it with us today. Of course. Thanks. I hope y'all enjoyed it too. I, I, I enjoyed it. I did. Um, Okay, well, guys, I think that's it for today, right? Do we have anything else we want to add? Uh, no, I think I'm good. It's a quick one. That's what he said. Um, it was a quick one today. But, uh, you know, if you have any more comments, please share uh, in the comments below. Um, and, you know, as always, guys, don't forget to, uh, you know, do that thing where you, uh, you hit, if you like what you've seen, if you've liked what you've seen, hit the like button, smash that subscribe button. And, uh, you know, share with your friends and family. You no, know, we appreciate it. We appreciate you. We love you. And until next time. Creep it real. Creep it real, y'all. Creep it real. Peace. All right. See you later. I like that one a lot. See, that's I like those stories because, honestly... Um...